Let's talk about the new Gen 9 Pokemon revealed in the Pokemon Presents. And there they are. We only got three of them, one of which is a regional variant, so I'm a bit disappointed. Because it's August, and these are all the Pokemon we have, and almost half of them are just formalities because legendaries and starter Pokemon. Comparing that to Pokemon Sun and Moon, here's a web archive from August. So we have five regional variants, and then all of these new Pokemon to get excited about, even legendaries that are not the box legendaries, mythical Pokemon, it was truly a different and more hype time. Also, correction from my live reaction of the Pokemon Presents, that is not a new Tauros form. I thought we were actually going to get a lot of new Pokemon reveals because they snuck in the looper. They were showing us so many things going by so fast, but nah, it didn't end up playing out like that. So I guess we can go and break down the details of these Pokemon and overall, the Gen 9 designs are awful to me. I'm kind of hoping it's inverse Pokemon Sword and Shield where they revealed mostly cool Pokemon and then the Gen 8 decks and also Pokemon Legends ended up being mostly garbage. With this, they're just like kind of getting all the weird ones out of the way and we're going to discover some awesome ones. But I've kind of given up hope at this point. And you can't say it's like, oh, well, you're just a Gen 1 or you don't like any new Pokemon designs. No, I actually have Generation 7 as the best overall decks for Pokemon designs and cool Pokemon. Like, we got Ghost Pikachu, we got the awesome Werewolf Pokemon. Very few Pokemon were disappointing, except for most of the Ultra Beasts, Bruxish, uh, the Young Goose Evolutionary line, and the Crabs. That's kind of it. After that, everything else was awesome. So, uh, Pokedex, we can't really see, we also can't really know how many new Generation 9 Pokemon there's going to be just from the reveals because Generation 8 didn't reveal a lot, Generation 7 did, and who even knows how many Pokemon they're going to put in the open world Pokemon game. But let's get into the details. So the Ice type gem leader throws out this weird thing. Um, just pure ice typing, thick fat, and slush rush. Pokemon Company really trying to push some of those plays that never end up coming through. 1,500 pounds? Okay, that's going to be a fat heavy slam. 15 feet tall. This thing's actually huge. Um, oh yeah, I guess it makes sense because Cetacean and Titan, so Cetitan. Terra Whale Pokemon. They go for some kind of theme, but honestly, this is, this is an abomination. Like, a lot of what's just been randomly popping up doesn't feel or look like Pokemon. Like, this seems some kind of generic monster tamery kind of game. I mean, like, Koridon and Miraidon already had that vibe, but the way they're just standing there, almost feeling like a reduced version of themselves, like from the initial legendary reveal and the idea of a legendary Pokemon, when they're on all fours, it's kind of underwhelming monster tamery kind of feel. So, now I'm kind of feeling that with all the other Pokemon. Like, we have Blob, we have Blob, and we have Pig, and not really anything going on. Now we have Dog. Nothing really stands out, and this is just Creature. So, so Titan needs to have tough muscles to be able to support their immense bodies, and physical attacks using their bodies have incredible power. They also migrate around the snowy regions, protected by a thick layer of fat. Uh, has five hard horns among them, upper jaw, ice energy. Wait, yeah, among them, the horn on the upper jaw is able to gather ice energy, making surrounding temperature extremely low. When it opens its mouth, that's just weird and doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm just trying, like, when I saw this, I immediately thought, like, eh, what does this do for the meta? Is it just a thick boy of stats and somehow finds a way, or does it not really do that much of a thing? Not really sure. Just like when you kind of break down the decks and the Pokemon as they're revealed and what they could do. With this, it's like, okay, it's going to have an Icicle Crush. Or Icicle Crash. Um, do you want to combo that into Slush Rush? Is it even worth setting up Hail for? Thick Fat. Okay, cool. That's just like Thick Fat into the Ice Weaknesses. But you're still frail to a lot because it's Ice, so you don't really survive that much. And yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really seem like it's going to be that great. Maybe, doesn't seem like as an evolution either because Gym Leader was using it. Seems like a late Gym kind of Pokemon. Maybe a pre-evolution? 
Does Pokemon Company has been doing that, where it's like, oh, we just reveal the final stage and then work our way backwards. Paldea and Wooper, though, so now we're getting into the regional variants, but so much less than what we've already kind of had. So, uh, Poison Ground. Okay. Just trying to, like, think on where what we get from that. Uh, Poison Point, Water Absorb. Then Quagsire is going to be that in pretty much the same. I don't really see the stats changing around too much on the Quagsire, so I don't know what competitive shenanigans are going to come out of that. Um, every Pokemon gets, like, a signature move or ability now, so maybe some kind of interesting move. So they live on land, cover their bodies with a poisonous film in ancient times. Oh, uh-oh, they, they setting it up, boys, on the past and present theming and forms. Whooper lived underwater in the Paldea region, seems to have... Or, but seems after losing a struggle for territory, they began living on the bogs on the island. To keep from drying out, they cover their bodies with a poisonous film. Makes sense, that tracks. Whooper's gills have hardened thanks to living on land, their bodies are heavy, and they move slowly. 24 pounds in a foot, yeah. Uh, they can protect themselves by shooting poison. You may see poison Pokemon in areas where the Wooper lives. That would actually be cool. Like, does this happen? Is the game that dynamic? Because that would actually be pretty cool where it's like, you encounter a random Pokemon and it just starts off with a poison status. And that could like, expand upon it. Or is that just lore? Maybe lore. And now we get into... The dumbest thing I've seen in a while. Like, what is that stupid face? That is not lovable in any way. I... It's worse than Lechonk. It's worse than Smoliv. It's- it's- yeah, I guess this is like the worst Gen 9 Pokemon so far because it- Like, that's just an ugly face. Like, that's just a mug. I don't- I- I don't like that. And then, going for the food theming, why? Like, I- Okay, good, you got- You got a pun out of it. Also, apparently this thing's fatter and heavier than... Wooper. What- One foot tall, 24 pounds of pure butter. Uh, fairy typing. I guess it makes sense. Food. Why are all the food Pokemon fairy typing? Why are they continuing this food theming? Puppy Pokemon. Maybe the evolution gets cool. Own tempo. It just seems like this thing. Like, so far, all the Pokemon that have been revealed also seem immediately forgettable and not usable competitively. It's. Like, Bulltown kind of got a little bit of a takeoff, but I think it's designed to end up failing in the end. Like, it looked kind of cool. We got a nice, like, dog-looking Pokemon, but I think, like, the tail was just, like, way too rat and wispy, and then, like, just not- nothing well-designed about- well, not- I would say, like, not well-designed, but it just- it was lacking something. Under-designed, but not in a good way. Like, sometimes you get a simple design, it's like, awesome, great Pokemon right there, but then this is just awful. Yeah, own tempo. Um, I also think it's really disappointing that, like, Thievil didn't really get to go anywhere, because they made the design a little weird. Like, I think the designs and the overall theming for the Pokemon have been failing in, like, Generation 8, Pokemon Legends, and now it's really looking that way in Generation 9. It's not really carrying over into anything impactful and memorable and cool. Unlike the most type we've ever had for a new Pokemon game. Uh, Pokemon has a moist, smooth feeling to it. Got a moist, bred Pokemon. And its breath contains useful yeast. I'm done.